Well, hello everyone. This is Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty, Hilton Head Island and Bluffton, South Carolina. And today is January 30th, 2018. We're on Hilton Head Island in Palmetto Dunes. And we're second row ocean at number three junket, a beautiful, beautiful large home. And we're gonna walk through this home and see what you think it has 4,591 square feet, five bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms. It was built in 1992. It has architectural beauty inside and out. We're just looking at the side of the home, folks. Two car garage, beautiful swimming pool out back. Very interesting and beautiful home. Probably the best second row ocean home anywhere on Hilton Head Island today. It's a real pleasure to show it to you. It's listed with the Shembra Real Estate Group, and I'm showing it to you as a buyer's agent with 42 years of Hilton Head Island and Bluffton real estate experience. Let's just take a quick look around the neighborhood if you're not familiar with Palmetto Dunes. These ocean front streets are what are sometimes called T streets. They come down from, in this case, Mooring Boy and they form a T, which means there's no through traffic. It goes off to a cul-de-sac on this end, not even a cul-de-sac, just two separate driveways. Here's our oceanfront homes, which you can more than double the price of number three junket. For this market here, we're talking second row ocean, and here is the front of the house facing towards the ocean. When we finish the video, we'll go out to the beach, and you'll see what a quick walk it is. I really like this house. I hope you do too. Well, again, my name, Richard Kadish, K-A-D-E-S-C-H. And my company is Go Gated Realty, as in gated communities. I'm the gated community specialist, ladies and gentlemen. And both Go Gated Realty and Gated Community Specialist are federally registered trademarks. And of course, Palmetto Dunes is a gated community, a resort and residential community with three championship golf courses, beautiful tennis club, um, a great place to live, a great place to vacation. Well, let's go ahead and get on through this house. It's big, it's beautiful. I'm really looking forward to showing it to you. And then this then is the front door. It's a rough sawn cypress house. So what you're seeing here is real wood. I love the rounded pillars. It's contemporary. It's Southern. I guess you could call it a traditional contemporary home. It has a wraparound front porch, complete with rocking chairs. Let's go in and take a look. Now this home has five bedrooms and four of them are on the first floor. And then when we go upstairs, one of the interesting things, and we'll go upstairs after we see the first floor, is the uh, master bedroom is on the upper floor and actually all your living space, a lot of your living space, your kitchen, your living room, your dining area, your eating kitchen are all up on that second floor. Well, here on the first floor, you have another living room, a first floor living room. And just out back, you have a beautiful swimming pool, Let's take a quick look at that. And a spa. Lots of privacy here. Beautiful setting. Second row ocean, Palmetto Dunes. Well, that's just a sneak preview of our swimming pool. And here we look back towards the foyer. The house is being sold furnished. And I don't think I mentioned the price, but it is $1,695,000. $1,695,000. Let's start over here to the right. We have a wood foyer floor, and it takes us over here to the right side, where we have twin beds. Again, five bathrooms, so every room has its own private bath. This room has a swimming pool view. And the bathrooms, by the way, are this is high quality, ladies and gentlemen, high quality granite countertops throughout. We have 
limestone floors, beautiful cabinets. This house could have been built today. It is so contemporary and fresh on the inside with so many features. Beautiful shower. We're going to see more of this as we go through. Beautiful diagonal squares of limestone. Or it may be porcelain that looks like limestone. I have to tell you, I'm not 100% sure in this particular bathroom, but in the master, it is definitely limestone. And this door, of course, then allows you to come in from the pool to use this bathroom. The first bedroom we're going to see today. And it has a walk-in closet. Everything is very fresh, clean, cheerful. The kind of place I know I'd like to vacation in. And of course, if you uh, have a continued interest in this home and you contact me, then we'll go into the different rental numbers and how the rental system works. Uh, homes like this rent, of course, very, very well. And most of these types of homes, if they're not owner-occupied, are oftentimes put into a rental program. Well, what a beautiful room this is. This bedroom is oversized, as are all of them. And these windows, I've pulled up all the blinds. The blinds, of course, are included, as are the, as is the furniture. And you can bring in all the light you want, as I've done here for this video, by pulling up all the blinds or for privacy or for shade, of course, you can let them down as you wish. Part ways, all of the ways. Here's the private bathroom for this bedroom. When I came into the house, I thought this was the master, but the master's upstairs. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> I'm very impressed. I think you will be too when we get there. Crown molding, again, it looks like real limestone to me, laid diagonal, large squares, looking very good on the floor, around the showers, granite tops, brush nickel plumbing, hardware, beautiful lights. This is a beautiful house, really beautiful. Over here we have a uh, walk-in closet. So let's just call this bedroom number two just because we're looking at them in that order. Back to our foyer. The rounded pillars are very smart, very attractive. We have high flat ceilings. We have a two-story foyer with a very large window up high. We'll take another look at that when we get up to that second floor. Over immediately to the left of the foyer, we have another bedroom. And of course, it can be configured differently, but you can see that this large home will sleep a lot of guests if you wanted to. Now this home, I find to be very attractive as a primary home possibility. A lot of the homes that are at the beach, frankly, they just seem like they're strictly vacation homes. This one to me has the versatility of being either a primary home or a vacation home. But two beds in here set up for sleeping and then of course it has its own bathroom again we have high quality with the granite and the limestone tub and shower i love the crown molding just runs right through the whole house at least much of the house lots of that ridge rich woodworking gives you a warm feeling at least it does for me and of course, it gives you the impression of quality and care by the builder. And of course, it's not inexpensive to build a good house with those extra features. Here's our laundry room. Full-size washer and dryer, cabinets, wash bin. And this too has a tiled floor. High quality throughout. The doorway there to the right takes you out onto the service entrance where your trash cans are and there's a side entrance down to your garage. And here's the uh, entrance to the house from the garage. It is a two-car garage. We won't go down there, but there's lots of space under the house for your garage. Over here, a wet bar just inside the uh, 
Entrance from the pool with mirroring and shelves looking good, very cheerful. And another outside entrance to the pool. Beautiful setting. And again, the address of this house, number three, Junket. Over the garage, we have another bedroom. This is the fourth one we've seen. I hope I'm not going too fast. It has sculpted ceilings, dual casement windows with a high arch window over them. Sometimes that's referred to as a Palladian window. This is also a very large, I guess you could even say oversized bedroom with a private bath. Large bathroom. The architect of this home was a man or woman after my own mind. I always like to have the doors a little bigger, the rooms a little bigger. I like to have a feeling of spaciousness, light and bright like my buyers want. Luxury as much as I can possibly afford. Here's our shower. Well, tile all the way up the walls, across the ceiling. This, uh, this is real limestone here. High quality, high quality uh, tile work, looking very good. Our granite top, everyone likes that. Everyone likes that. Beautiful plumbing, fixtures, very stylish. I think you noticed the skylight, bringing in lots of light into this bathroom. Beautiful bathroom, beautiful bedroom. Personally, I love sculpted ceilings. And this is a big room. Just take a look from this angle, all the floor space you have. Yep, looking good. The furniture is very nice throughout. There are, several of these doors are locked, which is what are sometimes called owner's closets, meaning it's for the owner's personal things. So here's a look as we head towards the second floor. And I think you're gonna like it. When I came into this house, I thought, wow, this is great. <laughs> and then I came up to the second floor and I thought, wow, again, even better. What you have up here is your formal dining room. All these rooms look out across the pool. Your kitchen is over yonder and your living room over to the left. Let's start with the big master bedroom here to the right though. And it is just a absolute beauty. Look at the windows, the size. A tent ceiling is what I call that when it's sculpted around the way it is, I guess you could call it recessed, you could call it a tray. I like to call it a tent because it has multiple angles, giving it even more architectural interest. The room is so large. And then you have a balcony, a second floor covered balcony, complete with rocking chairs. We have a wraparound first floor balcony, ladies and gentlemen. We have a covered second floor balcony. Beauty wherever you look. Tiled floor and the door at the far end there is to the living room. We'll take a peek out from that side when we go over there. First class, world class neighborhood here, ladies and gentlemen. Second row ocean, Palmetto Dunes here on Hilton Head Island. I think you can tell by how fresh and clean everything is that this house has been very well maintained and I, I would give this house, if not an A+, plus, certainly an A in most every category. It just is architecturally exciting for me to walk through a house like this. If I were on vacation, I would be very pleased that I rented this home. And if I were looking for a home in this price range uh, to live close to the beach, I think I'd be very happy as well because it has a very, very uh, warm feeling to it. Here we have dual vanities with the granite tops again. 
the undermount porcelain sinks. Over here, we have a huge walk-in closet with built-in shelving. Lots of space. I think plenty of room here. Uh, another doorway to the second floor balcony. We won't go out there from this door. We'll go out there from the eat-in kitchen area. The other uh, vanity is straight across the way there. So you have his and her vanities. You have a skylight. You have a tall ceiling. High volume in this bathroom. Great beauty. Just everywhere you look. Big soaking and jetted tub and a tiled deck with a large double casement window with a Palladian sculpted ceiling all overlooking the outside swimming pool. Your shower is beautiful with multiple shower heads including a rain head like taking a shower under a waterfall. And these are big vanities. Beautiful cabinets. Lovely attention to detail throughout. Your commode is in that closet to the left. Your um, linen closet is locked, so it's being used as an owner's closet. This is a beautiful bathroom, ladies and gentlemen. And it adjoins an outstanding master bedroom. here on the second floor. This is your two-story high uh, foyer. And once again, we have a wood floor that comes through the dining room. Five casement windows, another tent ceiling. Your kitchen is over there. We have a locked owner's closet here to the right. Here's our living room. <laughs> what a beautiful room. Look at these windows. <laughs> oh, I tell you, what a pleasure it is to show a house like this. With a fireplace, great woodworking, lots of little niches for your artwork, your sculptures, rich woodworking. And it's what you would expect in a distinctive home. This room also joins out to this covered balcony. We saw that from the master bedroom. With the tiled floor, it's covered. Built-in cabinets is where you have your flat screen TV across the way. Sculpted ceilings, what a room. What a room. This is your second floor living room. We already saw the first floor living room. Here's a second floor balcony. Bringing in lots of light, even if you never step out there, but you just might. Here's our kitchen and breakfast area, sometimes called an eat-in kitchen. Of course, as you know, we end up taking most all of our meals in this area here. We don't go into the formal dining room much, but how beautiful is this? Overlooking the pool. And we'll go down and see that next with the spa. This room also has a sculpted tent ceiling. Wood floors continue right on through your kitchen. And we have a vaulted ceiling here. This just goes on and on with all the architectural details and beauty. Clearly a skilled architect designed this home and a good builder built it. We've got the stainless steel appliances over here. We have a granite top. Downdraft ceramic range. And there you can get a little bit more of an idea of some of the character of the granite and some of the beauty of the granite. You can see the greens and the browns. We love granite, millions of years old. Suggesting permanence. 
quality. And for those of you who want the big family dinner, you can have it here. And the furniture is included. Let's go see the pool. And this second floor deck. The second floor deck gives out from that second floor bathroom as well as the kitchen area. You can sit up here or you can go down this spiral staircase. That's what we're gonna do right now. To our back deck. And the swimming pool, we step down from the wooden deck to the cool deck, which is the masonry deck. The spa with the waterfall. This house has it all. And we'll just walk once around. This would be a little bit of a side stairway down to your garage area and to the side street if you wanted to go off that way. And this then is the back of the home. I'll tell you what, this house just doesn't have a bad side. It's like a professional model. You can just photograph it any way you want. It's beautiful from every place, every side. Really a beauty. And this is a uh, much larger than average pool, very large pool. Looks to be in perfect condition. Now, of course, as a buyer's agent, I always recommend to my clients, my buyers, that we have every home inspected. And I'll be happy to refer you to a certified inspector to get that done for us. And of course, after you make your selection, you'll want to have an attorney here in South Carolina to close the sale for you. I'll be happy to refer you to an attorney. Anyone that you need to get the job done and to give you the kind of confidence that you want when you're purchasing a house, having a buyer's agent on your side. Again, it just doesn't cost anything more to have a buyer's agent, ladies and gentlemen, because the commission that I earn as a buyer's agent is already in the price of this house, in every house that's listed that we would buy, and in every new home that we would build. There's no additional charge to have me working for you. I'm only paid at closing if you buy and when you close by the commission, which is already in the price. Well, one last look back here at this beautiful house. Again, the address is 3 Junket. Well, let's go to the beach. It won't take long, maybe two minutes to walk out to the beach. I'll give you my contact information as we go so you know how to reach me and I certainly invite you to call or email. Let's get acquainted. Let's talk about the kind of real estate that you want, that you're looking for. It may not cost 1695000 like this house does. It may cost more, it may cost less. The uh, walkways to the beach are between these streets like this, so it's just a question of getting over to it quickly, and out we go. Second row ocean. Well, again, my name is Richard Kadish, K-A-D-E-S-C-H. My company, Go Gated Realty. My cell phone, and please call anytime, 843-684-2933. That's 843-684-2933. My email address, rich at gogated.com. I'll spell that as R-I-C-H at G-O-G-A-T-E-D.com. And my website is gogated.com. It's very hard for me to end these videos uh, on a day like today. Sorry about the sun there. Hopefully you'll feel some of the warmth. Wow, this is just great. Well, thank you.
thank you for watching this video. I certainly enjoyed showing you that home, and I look forward to hearing from you.